you're most welcome back to my channel if this is your first time thank you and to all my thousand plus subscribers i'm grateful that you are willing to share this journey with me and over a thousand people are willing to listen to me and walk this journey with me so thank you very much it's been a little over a year of keeping this cattle and uh, we've learned one or two things so today i'm just going to share with you some of the things that we have learned in this our uh, journey so far the first thing is that you would have no time you are either looking for food for the animals or you are taking care of them so your time your time is not going to be there you're going to be using the time for all those kind of things the second is that um sourcing the feed is very expensive uh, as everything is rising feed cost is also rising now it's very difficult to even go to people's farms and after they have harvested you just get the stovers for free they will ask you to give something before you can be able to pick the stovers so sourcing the food is expensive it is also difficult sometimes to source the food because we go to the grinding mills to get some of the feed and there are lots of people that are also interested and there's a backlog so you can even have the money but how to get the feed will be a problem for you so that is something you should consider it's also difficult to get dedicated workers you get people that are around that you can be able to know in case they run away with your things you know that this is where i can be able to trace the person but those people are not dedicated they come today tomorrow they'll tell you i have a wedding or i have a funeral a whole lot of excuses so it's very difficult to get dedicated workers it's usually for us it's just the family that uh, we do it and we rotate um, you would also need an extra source of income why would you need an extra source of income because uh, the feed is expensive and cattle business in itself is expensive it's not about buying the cattle that is the expensive part but maintaining the cattle is the most expensive part of the whole cattle business so you need to get some extra source of income so if you were working you don't just quit your job and then start the cattle business you make sure that you have something else doing so that you can be able to use that to support the cattle business and also be able to fend for you and your family if you have any you will also be tired you are going to always be tired because the work never ends if you are not shoving cow dung, you are carrying water. If you are not looking for carrying water, you are carrying food. If you are not carrying food, you are looking for food. If you are not looking for food, you are looking for medicine. So the work never ends. In our farmhouse, we just say today we are tired, so we close and then we come back another day to continue. You are always going to be tired. Um, the seed is that the work gets to a point it becomes monotonous it's like your life just become all about the cattle and uh, if you are somebody who is into a lot of adventure if you don't take care you become bored because of that and uh, that brings me to my seventh point which is discouragement because your life can become monotonous it can sometimes give you some discouragement and at other times because of the struggle in getting the feed in getting medicine sometimes there are some medicines and vaccines you are looking for you cannot be able to get it you have to probably look outside of the country or you pray that that kind of disease does not break out so it can be discouraging sometimes when you are in this business so that is something that uh, we learned and then uh, you are also going to be constantly learning you are going to be constantly learning Today you are learning of this disease, tomorrow you are learning of the characters of some of the animals and realize that some eat around this time, some don't eat. When you give them some feed, others don't eat this and a whole lot of this. So you are going to constantly be learning. So it's like you are back in school <laughs> for widows who didn't want to be in school. You should know that when you get into cattle business, you are back in school. Another thing is that people will dislike you. And the reason why people dislike you is that, you know, the cattle, especially if you're in an urban area, and you don't take care of your place well, there could be stings coming out of your cattle farm. Uh, when you take the cattle out for a walk, you may not even destroy somebody's property, but they can come and tell you lies that they say it was your cow that, it was your cattle that passed by, 
and as a result his fence has spoiled so you must fix it it is your cattle that that destroyed it other people also see the cattle like that and then they are intimidated by their size and then their nature so he will just meet you on the way with the cattle and out of fear they fall and they say it's your cow that pushed them and so sometimes it brings resentments among people and they don't dislike you. they dislike you or you are passing by and then uh, the cattle defecates on the way uh, makes people to dislike you they say you pass by with your cattle and then they are always uh, defecating on the way so it's something that uh, you would face not everybody will be happy for you others will dislike you because of that and then for our African setting, when people see that you have cattle like that and then you are also working, they tend to think that you have a money tree in your house. So you should be expecting people to always be knocking on your door and then asking for help and for money most of the time. When you tell them you don't have, they, they think they say you are wicked and all those kind of things because of our type of African mentality. So that is one challenge that you face and you have to be okay with people saying that you are wicked when you know that you actually don't have it because you have to take care of your family and then you also have to take care of the cattle. So I, I hope that this video you enjoyed it so much and if there's anything you want me to talk about or there's something you want to see, please leave it in the comment section and then I'll try as much as possible to answer or make a video about it for you to have a look thank you very much for helping me reach a thousand subscribers to all those of you who have been sharing my videos out to people i'm very grateful thank you and god bless you and to all my new subscribers and old subscribers god richly bless you i hope this journey would motivate you to also start something of your own and even if it is not in this type of business it is something that will bring you progress thank you and god richly bless you bye bye